taking action about one month ago, and we brought you a story about a former Letcher County school teacher diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. Roger Hall claims asbestos at the old Letcher High School caused his illness that was in the 1980s, and still the school system deals with asbestos. Now they are taking action. I talked to the superintendent today about their plans. It's a typical day at Letcher Elementary School. Students sit on the floor, ready and eager to learn. But the tile they're sitting on may soon be replaced. We were really tickled that that's going to happen because just to put everybody's mind at ease. A few months ago, word got out that a former Letcher County school teacher was diagnosed with mesothelioma. Roger Hall filed a lawsuit saying asbestos at the old high school, now the elementary school, made him sick. I, I had plans. I, I, I'm 64 years old and, and pretty, other than with this, pretty good shape and, and really wanting to to do some things and enjoy a little bit of my life. Now the school is taking action. They plan to remove asbestos tile in three of their schools, including Letcher, Fleming Neon, and Arley Boggs. To make everyone feel better in the community, to give everyone that peace of mind, to make sure that you know we're doing all that we can to make them feel good about their kids going to school, we just decided that we want to be an asbestos-free county and we want to get rid of all of it. The superintendent says they've had an asbestos plan in place for many years. They say they followed protocol, replacing and sealing tiles as necessary. Now the project is expected to take two years and it could cost at least $150,000. They will remove and replace the tile when students are not in the building. This weekend, in fact, they will start to replace the tile at Arley Boggs Elementary.